Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, and today we are going to review Sacred Loneliness, The Plural Wives of Joseph Smith by Todd Compton. Okay. Honestly, I don't know where this sits in the LDS community, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> so I'm torn between giving it two stars or three stars um, because of the standards of where I try to grade these things, Okay. So I'll give you a brief update on the book and, and how it is. And so this book documents each one of the reported plural wives of Joseph Smith, both those who would be sealed to him after his death, but especially those who were sealed to him during his life. Okay? And documents their life. They are like mini biographies on those women that are plural wives of Joseph Smith. That's it. Um, what's interesting is it's not a faithful book, but it's not a faithless book either. It is just a history book, just documenting their lives, what happened to them before they joined the church, what happened to them during, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> during the church, uh, them meeting Joseph Smith, uh, that interaction as much as possible, and then what happened after. Some would be sealed to Brigham. Some would remain faithful. Some would leave the church. Uh, some would remarry others. Uh, some were married to other men at the time. And, and so it's a fairly comprehensive biographies on the women who were plural wives of Joseph Smith. So with that, I enjoyed the book only because... I enjoy this type of context where I get a more historical reach and view and I better understand uh, these women. Um, you don't better understand Joseph at all. Okay, So this isn't going to give you insights on Joseph Smith's polygamy. This is more or less an honor of those women and the lives they lived. Okay, So the reason why I struggle with where it sits is it's definitely not a five-star book. Everyone's not required to read it. It's not going to change their lives. It's not a four-star book. It's not just the best top, best on the topic and really highly recommended. Um, three. The reason why I struggle between three and two stars is because if you're interested in the lives of the wives of Joseph Smith, and this is the only book that's really out there that's going to cover their biographies. It honors those women. It connects them as human beings. It really doesn't address polygamy. It just addresses their life, which is why I struggle with putting it into a two-star book. Because I don't know uh, very many people who actually are interested in just the lives of these women. And, and I don't know if that's a harsh statement. I'm just trying to be honest with it. I know plenty of people who want to address polygamy. I know plenty of people who want to better understand Joseph in addressing polygamy. Uh, I know plenty of people who might want to better understand the women a little bit in those decisions. Uh, less so that than the other things. But I don't really know anyone who's interested in learning about the women after polygamy uh, and what they did and what they accomplished. With that being said, it is interesting. Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I guess I'm going to give it two and a half stars, uh, almost three. Um, if this is a topic you're interested in, this still isn't the book for you. But if the topic is the women, then yeah, this is the only actual book out there. And it's really well written, well researched. Uh, Todd Compton does a fantastic job. This is going to be a great reference book for many people who want to better understand those women's lives. And as we engage more in the conversation around polygamy, you're going to have references from different women, and it's kind of neat to say, okay, well, who was she, and what, where did she come from? And, and so this becomes a great reference book on my shelf. I've read it cover to cover, and I just, I mean, I enjoyed it, but it was kind of a slower read. Some lives are more boring than others, to be honest, and some lives we just didn't know much about. So you kind of breeze through some of those things as well. So I, I, <clears throat> I am going to give it a two-and-a-half star book. I don't do half stars very often. I just feel bad giving it a two stars because it's actually much better than a two star book. Um, I just don't know that it's a three star book yet. So again, 
the plural wives, sacred loneliness, uh, plural wives of Joseph Smith. I'm going to give it two to three stars, two and a half stars. Um, it doesn't resolve, it doesn't address polygamy. It doesn't address Joseph. It just, those are just characters in these women's lives. Okay. LDSbookreviews.com. Thanks, guys.